Hey, hello everyone, Paul from Orthway Valpal here. With me I have Sam. Now you've seen Sam in a previous video. We talked about uh, him having shingles and it affecting C the C5 nerve root. So what I want to teach today is patience. All right, It takes a long time to recover from a shingles incident and early on it was not recognized that he had shingles so they thought it was a shoulder problem, maybe cervical spine problem, all these other issues. But now that we had the EMG done um, and we, we noticed that he had some neurological issues, um, we know that the recovery for this is going to be a year to two years. All right? um, but I just want to show you that he is starting to show some improvement, that we're monitoring him periodically. He's on a home exercise program. Um, so let's do this to start with. Okay, So I'm going to have you try to lift your arm straight up in front of you, as high as you can go. All right. So in the first video, you notice he can't take it off his side. Now back down. Out to the side now, this way. Good, that's better. It's not 100%. He still is hiking here, but he's definitely showing some reactivation of his cuff. Okay, now back down. Now we're going to check his strength. So if you remember in the first video, he had like zero biceps, okay, for the C5. Now hold here. Don't let me pull down. Hold. I can't break him on that one. And now I'm going to do supination, which I like to test for C5, so don't let me turn the palm in. Hold. And I can break him just a little bit, but maybe half a grade. All right. Um, let's have you bring that shoulder forward now, like this. Can you hold it there for me? He's, he's got some weakness. Hold tight, hold tight. But he's giving me a little bit of resistance. Can you do this? Okay. Hold tight. Okay, still weak. Still a neurological weakness, which is a progressive giving way. It's a painless weakness. But as a result, he still works very hard, never missed a day of work since the time he got the shingles. Um, and he does a lot of work down here and not a lot overhead. And as a result, to relax your arm, he's developed some shoulder stiffness. Okay? And that's just because he's not spending a lot of time overhead. Relax that arm. We're going to turn him out this way. A little snug, but every time he comes into therapy, he does better. We gain 15 to 20 degrees of motion with him, and he's certainly showing improvement. He's a little stiff naturally on the other side also, okay, but not terribly bad. So really starting to show some nice improvement. Um, when you see a patient with painless weakness, you need to be suspicious that it's some sort of a neurological issue. It could be viral in nature like it was in this, in this scenario. And... Um, Getting the diagnosis right right away is good because then you can teach the patient that, hey, this is going to take a long time. You don't need surgery for this. It's going to be time, okay? Uh, and then continuing to stick with range of motion and stretching and all that good stuff, and you'll continue to show some improvement. So you're happy. You're, you're doing better than you did nine months ago. Oh, fire. fire. Yeah. Yes. Okay, great. So that's all I've got. If you have, have any questions, please uh, feel free to comment. This has been a very interesting case. And uh, Sam, thank you for letting us uh, videotape okay. this. It's a great learning experience. Okay, Thanks. thank you.